Reverse diet, week three, day six. So I just got back about an hour ago from getting my uh, DEXA scan. Uh, I did put on two and a half percent body fat. So last time I went in, which was June 30th, um, I was at 8.1% body fat. Today I was at 10.6% body fat. Uh, I had put on about eight and a half pounds since the last time. 4.1 of that though was pure muscle mass. So that's very encouraging and I knew that was gonna happen just because the last week to two weeks I felt so good in my workouts, nice and strong. And the stronger you feel, the more muscle you have. Um, and the, but then I did also put on about four and a half pounds of fat. Um, so all in all, not super worried. I mean, four and a half pounds of fat over the course of three weeks, that's not too bad. Um, I was very pleased with the muscle. 4.1 pounds of muscle is great. Um, now it's not going to be 4.1 pounds of muscle every month. Uh, probably in a couple months, I'll probably start to plateau. And at that point, if I could put on one to two pounds of muscle per month, I'll be very happy. So at this rate, I'm thinking by either the September or definitely the October, I'll be in that 16 to 18% body fat range, which is what I want to be in. Uh, and then at that point, I'll be able to put on some lean mass. I do have some ideas diet-wise what I'm thinking of doing. Um, once I hit the, I believe it's the third week of September, I will be up at my bulk calories, which will be tw right around 2,800 calories. That's gonna be 210 grams of fat, 170 grams of protein, 50 grams of total carbs. Starting that week, I'm not gonna be eating the same meals every day. I'm gonna aim to hit those macros but I'm gonna have a lot more flexibility, kind of like what I did last year where I can every day, you know, if I have a taste for pork, I'll have pork or fish. Um, I'll swap out the berries and do different berries every day, different nuts and seeds every day. Uh, if I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, I could do the 100% dark chocolate um, or have some different nut butters or maybe a little bit of honey. So there's some things, some full fat dairy that I, have, that I haven't been incorporating during this entire uh, ketogenic bodybuilding prep and now the reverse diet. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, when I had my blood test done about a, three, four weeks ago, um, my LDL number, size, particles, all that stuff was pretty elevated. Um, it typically is, but it was a little bit more elevated than I would like it to be. So I'm going to play around and next time I get blood work done, it'll be the uh, probably mid-December. At that point, I'm going to see what the numbers look like. If they're all in the green and look really good, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. If they're still elevated, what I'm planning on doing is the first half of next year, doing a Mediterranean-style ketogenic diet. So essentially keeping a keto, but just everything I eat will be pretty much Mediterranean-based. Um, but again, keeping the macros the same, 210 grams of fat, 170 grams of protein, 50 grams of total carbs. And then when I get blood work done then next uh, next year in mid end of June, I'll see if my, those LDL numbers get better. If they do, I'll keep playing around with that Mediterranean keto style. I may even play around with carbohydrates a little bit, meaning um, I might go up as high as 100 grams of total carbs and again, keeping it Mediterranean. So like that's gonna be coming from um, like lentils, chickpeas, uh, sweet potatoes, like that would be the main bulk of the carbohydrates that I'd be consuming. And just small quantities, like a quarter to maybe a half a cup or like four ounces to six, potentially eight ounces of a sweet potato. Um, and if I do that, I'll also drop my fats by 20 to 25 grams. Um, depending on how I feel with that, like if I'm feeling really good, maybe I bump up the carbs to 150 grams, decrease the fats another 20 to 25 grams. So I've got some ideas of, of how I'm going to play with things. I'm going to keep getting those DEXA scans at the end of each month um, just to kind of see how my nutrition is playing a role in my weight lifting based on how I feel the data I'm getting from the DEXA scans, um, how I'm progressing through my workouts as far as am I increasing the weight, 
Is my form getting better? Is it getting easier pushing these weights? So those are the things I'm gonna be on the lookout for as I go into the next year and a half now. Um, so again, have a plan. It's okay to have multiple plans like I do in this case, but stick with the plan. Like if you start the plan and within four weeks, you don't really notice the difference, keep going with it. Like for instance, um, once I start kind of changing up my foods when I'm eating on a day-to-day -day basis, that's still going to give me a solid three months of doing that before I get my blood work done to see if that works. Um, and then if it doesn't work, solid six months of doing a ketogenic Mediterranean style diet to see if that works. Um, and then after that, I might maybe do three to six months of going up to 100 grams of carbs. And then maybe it's three to six months going up to 150. And there's no shame in making little micro changes to that or after three to six months pivoting, going in a different direction. I'm trying different things. I wanna see what works for me. And obviously everyone's different, everyone's unique. Um, their metabolisms are different, their body types, the types of foods that they eat. Um, they might have some food sensitivities, some foods might be better for your body, some might not be. And playing around with that stuff is going to help you unlock the key to longevity, to feeling great, to looking great. And that's kind of what I'm striving for. Like I tell my family, I wanna to live to 120 years old and that's my goal. And I'm gonna to try to do the best I can to get myself to living to 120 years old. So have a plan or plan to fail. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. Please keep it locked in here on my channel and like and subscribe and continue to follow along with me as I now go through this reverse diet following my ketogenic bodybuilding prep. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the end of the third week of this reverse diet.